Series 30 Lunar New Year for Forza Horizon 5 has just been fully announced, so I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about that update summed up in this one video. Let's waste no time and jump straight into it. Now, one of the new features in this update is a new car pack. The car pack is called Chinese Lucky Stars, and I am giving away a few codes. It is Xbox only, so if you want a chance to win a car pack code, make sure you are subscribed and just comment your gamer tag. I'll pick a few people at random to win one of the codes. I've got quite a few to give away. Now, before we touch on the car pack itself, Self. let's go through the festival playlist look at all the new cars in the festival playlist and see what it's all about now for the full series for 80 points you can get the first new car the Hyundai Ionic 6 from 2022 and for 160 points the Neo EP9 that is not a new car but it is an exclusive Chinese car returning to the festival playlist now for the first week which is summer for 20 points you can get the second new car of this month the Hyundai Kona from 2022 and for 40 points, the Wuling Sunshine. You're probably seeing a theme that every car that's a reward is some kind of Chinese relevant car. The Forza Von Shop for the first week has the Ferrari F50 GT, the Formula Drift Ferrari 599, a red suit and a gong car horn. These do seem, again, along the lines of Chinese themed. They are red cars, it's a red suit, it's a gong car horn. There's definitely a Chinese theme going on. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that first week. The second week, which is autumn, for 20 points, you can get the next new car, the Lincoln Co. 02, hatchback this is the third new car and for 40 points the mg mg6 now the lincoln co that is the new car of this week is not the lincoln co that is in the thumbnail of the forza monthly we actually got more than one lincoln co in this update more on that later the forza on shop for the second week has the lamborghini cm the ford mustang rtr number 25 the so cute emote and the white drift zone t here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week The third week, which is winter, for 20 points you can get the next new car, the Hyundai i30N, and for 40 points, the Hoonicorn V2. The Forza Von Shop for that third week has the Koenigsegg 1 to 1, the Hoonigan F150 truck, the Raw Emote, and the Red Round Eye Shades. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that third week. The fourth week, which has the fifth new car for 20 points, the MG MG7 is available. And for 40 points, the MG MG3. The MG MG7 is the new car, not the MG3. Now this ties up very well with the leaks that we got last week. If you're subscribed, you would have seen these. We saw that the MG7 was coming on the 22nd of February, and that is this specific car here. The Forza Von Shop for the last week has the Rimac Nevera, the Formula Drift 370Z, Pinball Machine, and Black Drift Zone T. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that last week. So that is the festival playlist. Those are five new cars. There are more new cars, however, more specifically in the Chinese Lucky Stars car pack. It will cost five dollars, four pounds or five euros, and it will have the 2012 Volkswagen Santana, if that's how you pronounce that, the 2022 Lincoln Co. 05 Plus. This is the car that was in the Forza Monthly thumbnail, so yes, it is unfortunately within the car pack. The 2022 Wuling Hongwang Mini EV Macaron and then the 2023 MG Cyberster. Now the MG Cyberster was the other car that we knew was coming and we also predicted this was being in a car pack as well and we got that prediction right. The 2022 Wuling Hongwan Mini EV was also predicted as well, not by me, by this fella here. Nicely guessed, it was correct. So those are the four cars within the car pack. Yes, we are getting regular car packs now. I think we're gonna to have to accept that that's a normal thing, but put it this way, car packs usually contain pretty damn cool cars. So if we are getting a car pack almost every month now, that means we're getting cool cars almost every month. Just remember, Forza Horizon 5 lifespan is gonna be quite long. They have to bring money in somehow because it is free to play, for Christ's sake. So please don't give Playground Games too much stick when they want us to spend four pounds on an occasional car pack. 
What else is coming? Well, the Auto Show cars that was announced back in December for the Community Choice update are finally being added to the Auto Show, and I actually have the prices as well. So if you if you were wanting to get your hands on any of these, you can see how much they cost. Some of them are quite quite pricey. Those are finally available as of January the 30th that will be, which is when this update drops by the way. Now there are even more auto shards coming, this time straight away, we're not going to have to wait two months to actually buy these ones, but we have the 2019 Hyundai Veloster N, the 2020 Xpeng P7 and the 2021 Lincoln Co 03. Three Chinese cars that are already in the game by the way, these are not new, they are just new to the auto show as in they are purchasable. Again, the prices are on screen if they interest you there. So if you include these cars, there are 22 new cars, but if you only bothered about the actual new cars, there are nine. So there you go, that's all the new cars. Let's go on to the new features. We have a selection of new Event Lab props. This happens in most updates now. They are mostly Luna related, as you can see, some of which have the snapping functionality, and I'm really intrigued about the fireworks at the bottom. I wonder if they're functional. Evolving World, there's quite a few of them. The stadium is transformed into a drift arena stadium for the duration of this series only. Smoke effects will be triggered while driving near certain turns and areas of the arena. If I have any gameplay or pictures of any of this, I will put it on screen. If I don't, sorry. A dragon drone show can be observed in the drift arena as well. In daytime, the drones will be floating lanterns, and at nighttime, the drones become the dragon. That sounds awesome. The fireworks collectible, which is a new collectible, will be available in week three, which is winter, around the drift stadium. It seems like you'll have to search for these at midnight, uh, or mid, at uh, night time, sorry, night time only. And returning extended nights. Just like in the Midnight's Horizon series, night time will be extended compared to the standard timing for the duration of the Lunar New Year. So we're gonna get some really long night times for this entire series. What else have we got? Well, we've got new badges, which are very sort of Chinesey. If you earn the 2022 Hyundai Ionic 6 during Lunar New Year, you will get this orange sort of dragon head badge. And if you just play Forza Horizon 5 during the storm season, oh, if you just play Forza Horizon 5 during the storm season, you will get the Red Lunar Dragon as a badge. What else? Well, we can expect a new accolade for collecting all of the Lunar New Year cars, which are the five in the festival playlist, so you don't have to own the car pack. And that is pretty much it for the Lunar New Year update. There are some highlighted bug fixes as usual. This is not all of them. There will be a full change log on January the 30th. So if you need to, if you need to desperately know about the fixes in this update, you're gonna have to wait till January the 30th. But we can see there's a fixed issue with the Aston Martin Valkyrie suspension arm and a few other boring bits you can see there. Now, what is next? European automotive. Leave a like if you enjoyed everyone. I hope you enjoy Lunar New Year and I'll see you all later.